I'm really enjoying this cooking session. It reminds me a lot of the beef challenge, but it's just a different hero ingredient. I'm making a spiced panna cotta with a pancetta and apple for the sauce slide bit with a spiced crumble. I've got the pancetta on the stove, got some apple, some noble lay toffees in there, and you're stewing everything with a bit of mixed spice and cinnamon. I have put my panna cotta into the fridge to set. From the beginning, all I'm thinking is, please set. Please set. Finally today, we get a challenge which I can somehow turn into a dessert challenge. I'm going desserty with an Earl Grey panna cotta, with a white chocolate ganache, a deep fried chocolate truffle. I know I have to start with my panna cotta because it will take the longest to set. So I start infusing my milk with the Earl Grey and the vanilla. This is the kind of food I want to serve to people and it's the kind of food I want to eat every day. Today I feel okay with who I am and what I'm doing. 20 minutes gone and 40 minutes remain. take the chance and I think okay I'm gonna make a dessert and I'm gonna make something with tea because I didn't have any coffee or tea this morning so I'm going to make a Earl Grey creme brulee my own chai latte and uh, some plums that I have poached in rooibos chili and cinnamon what a superb pantry look at all those products in it you got all the creams all the cheeses all the milks everything is great you've even got the byproducts you got Custards, you've got milk powders, you've got everything that you could ever dream of in that pantry. A lot of the contestants have taken fruits and have taken cream cheese and a little mascarpone, but so we're expecting a lot of desserts to be made. As the group gets smaller, there's more and more pressure on them. It's, it now is the time to shine. There's a myriad of different outcomes. This is going to be a great challenge. I need to get my base on, which is a normal egg custard base for my ice cream. I incorporated some clotted cream with my normal cream, some coconut cream and coconut milk. Cut up my fennel and try to infuse as quickly as possible. Karen! Yes, Chef. What are you making for us today? Um, I'm making a coconut fennel ice cream. All within an hour? <laughs> You're inspired. <laughs> Obviously a lot of inspiration here from your masterclass at the yes. creamery. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I can see with all those flavours and those combinations, <laughs> if that all comes together, you'll definitely be doing all of us proud. I'm really hoping that this is going to cool down in time to, to set. I want that perfect ball of ice cream and I don't want it to be this melted mush. Time is ticking and working with ice cream in this heat, it can go either way. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, stop cooking. step back and I look at my plate and the panna cotta has set. My panna cotta, when I try to plate it and it's starting to spread, I don't know what the judges will think of it. This is the first time I've plated anything in the MasterChef kitchen that I'm actually proud of. I made a coconut fennel infused ice cream with the almond biscuit and then I've got a carpaccio of fruit. Over that I drizzled a mint sherry syrup. Mm. That is fabulous. <laughs> it's rich, it's creamy, it's got that beautiful flavour of that fennel. It just all comes together. Awesome, awesome, well done. Creamy, rich, flavorful ice cream. Well done, you keep on improving all the time. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm so happy that that combination worked out well. 
This is my breakfast tea, my caffeine fix. Um, I have used tea in all three of the elements on my plate. I have a Earl Grey tea, creme brulee, and I have a chai that I blended myself. Your brulee is creamy, rich, and a lovely cleansing chai at the end. Superb dessert. Thank you very much, Chef. I've done a Napoleon inspired from the Italian cannoli. It's cinnamon and sugar dusted phyllo with a clotted cream and chocolate ganache. You have learned a lot from Chef Henry's dish in the last challenge, and it's evident in the layers of texture and flavor that you've tried to introduce in this dish. Thank you, Chef. I did a chiffon with the chocolate ganache with the brandy snap uh, biscuit on top. I did a, a cherry truffle with some sponge sugar and some mascarpone. It's a nice crunch to the brandy snap. It hasn't wilted. Very nice combination, lovely textures, and a beautiful plate. Well done. The judges have been saying, push yourself and push that boundary, and I am hoping that their minds will be blown wide open. The dish I created today is a mixed spice and cinnamon panna cotta with a deconstructed apple and pancetta crumple, candied apples. What did you use for the sauce? The sauce is just reduced Niederberg late harvest. The uh, pancetta is a little bit fatty and the sauce is kind of tart, so I'm hoping that you get a clean finish at the end. You won that masterclass with uh, Razvan. I did indeed. Is that where you picked that from? It was. Panacotta light, creamy, then you get the smokiness of the pancetta, the sweetness of the apple and the crunch, that soothing, sweet, but still lots of flavor in the sauce. Wonderful cooking. Thank you. Spot on. That has hit every taste bud in my mouth. For me, this is the best plate of food we've tasted this whole competition. This is outstanding. Carmony, we asked you to go wild, and you did. Thank you. The comment that it was the best dish of the competition is incredible. It doesn't even matter if I win this challenge. That for me is enough.